Okay, we're going to talk about some more advanced formatting to allow you to uh, set number of decimal places and line of columns. So first let's look at a print statement. If you do a print statement, you can interchange variables and then labels between the variables. So if you print this, it would the words is and years old would be printed out exactly as is, but these variables would be converted to whatever their data is in a readable format. So the name is a string, it would be it would come out, and then age would come out as an uh, integer. There's a more advanced way to do this, and this is using the format operator that works for strings. And the format operator for a string is the percent sign, which is for numbers the modulus operator. Whenever it follows a string, you put a string, and then you put this modulus operator, and then you can put a list of parameters in uh, a tuple, which is a list of, uh, of items or expressions in parentheses. And what happens is you use these special codes. The codes always start with a percent that tells the computer this is a format, and then it has a code to indicate whether it's a string, a float, a decimal, an integer, how it converts it. And this controls how this data is converted into readable form. So each tuple in order, a name is associated then plugged into this format and printed, and age is put into this format and printed. So this print statement turns out to be exactly equivalent to this one. So, but the advantage is there's a bunch of options you can use for these uh, to control things. So this is just the simplest form. You just say percent and a code that represents the type of data you're converting. This is called the format operator. And here's a list of the codes. So you can actually use interchangeably either D or I. I use D because I learned this when I first did C programming and they didn't have I. Uh, but they now have I for formatting, so I for integer, and then you use F for float, and you use S for string. Those are the ones you use all the time, so those are the three I, I, I would put into your memory bank. If you actually want to output a percent symbol, you put two of these in a row, so you'd say percent percent. Now, you can also add extra information to control formatting, and that goes between the percent and the code that indicates the type of data. So the first thing you can add is just the number right after the percent, and that represents the, uh, if you want to print things in columns, it's going to add spaces to exactly make a column 20 wide. So if this integer it's outputting with a D format is three uh, numbers wide, it would add 17 spaces to make the whole thing 20 wide. So you use this if you want to print out, uh, say, a table of things and you want it all to line up. Now this assumes that you're printing with a fixed font where each, every character of the font is the same width, like uh, Courier is an example of that. Um, so you have to use a special font. Before you put the uh, width you can put a minus, which means left justify, or a plus, that means right justify on these formats. So this is printing an integer into a 20 space column and left justifying the integer. This is right justifying the integer. If you put an extra zero before the 20, this is called the fill character. Instead of using spaces to fill the column, it will put zeros in. Now this is very useful. This is the most common format for printing dollar amounts. Uh, as you say, percent uh, and then 0.2f. And if you leave off this 20, it will just do two decimal places. So the 0.2 indicates for floats how many decimal places to, to round to when it outputs. And the 20 would then fill in extra spaces to make it again 20 columns, 20 spaces wide in a column. This is an option we're not going to be concerned about. So this gives you a bunch of examples. And I've made, also made a file to show you some really useful examples. Uh, so this file, the first thing I'm going to show you is there's, there's a website that you can read a lot about this. This website here. And let me go to it. Uh, so this is the website. It has a lot of information on formatting. So this is actually the this type of formatting 
that we're describing actually originated with C and it's in a lot of languages so it's useful to learn because you can use it in almost every programming language. And this shows you that uh, you have the string, the modulus operator, and then a tuple and it takes the parameter each each uh, expression that's in the tuple it takes its value and uses the format specifier as to how it's going to convert uh, that value into uh, something here. So this is going to add extra spaces to fill out a column of five. So there's a couple extra spaces before the four. And this is going to make a column width of eight. So it's going to put extra spaces before the 59 to make eight. And the point two is going to only show two decimal places. Uh, and it rounds up. You'll notice it rounded up from uh, 0 0.058 to 0 0.06. Here's the parts, so this is called the format string, the modulo operator, and the tuples with the values. Here's the general format of the placeholder that specifies the coding, and so you can read about that. And it, and it talks about all the conversion uh, methods you can use. And a lot of detail, so it really goes into a lot of detail here. And at the end, there's a new way of doing this called the uh, string format method. S, you have a string dot format. And I'm not going to go into this, but uh, the people Python wanted something even more flexible than this, so they invented uh, something that's a modification of this that has a different format. And you can read about that. But I recommend using the old, learning the old way and knowing it because it's useful in almost every language. Let me go back to my code sample. So I last, I can just have examples of using it. So uh, if you remember the input we did, it printed 0 0.33333. 3, 3, 3, 3. Well, here I have a long decimal, and I say only print uh, one decimal place. So it takes the name and prints it in the percent %s, and takes the, the average programs per year and puts it in as 0.1 decimal. So I, I, now when this modulus works on a string and returns a string, and you can put it in a print statement like I do down here. You can also just create a string, for example, to output and format to go out to a file. And here is printing out a, a, a integer, and the D can also be an I, so it prints those two strings. Here's lining up some columns, so I have a bunch of numbers that have different lengths and decimal places, and I specify a, a column of 10 and a column of 12, and when you run this, it will line up all the columns. And then this shows the most common uses is, is dollar amount. So it prints, whatever you put outside the code, it just prints exactly as is. You can do this, you can add uh, new lines. So whatever you want to output outside of the, of the formatting code, it'll just output. And then what is inside the formatting code, just from the percent to the F, is replaced by the data formatted by the code. So these are the most common ones you use all the time. It's probably dollar amount, output a string, and output a decimal. And so that's it.